All right, I'm coming to you through three platforms. My Spreaker, live YouTube, and live Facebook. It's uh, 1.26 p.m. October 22nd, 2018. And it's 1.26 p.m. Pacific Time. I want to, uh, you already see the title. I want to start to come to you right now. This is like real quick because I got to go to work. Uh, First Kings chapter 19, starting at verse 10. Um, the Lord appears to Elijah. And I can save this for like a totally different message, but this is just going to be a preamble to what I'm going to be starting to what I'm going to discuss with you about Mexico and the United States elections and the word of the Lord came to Elijah what are you doing here Elijah Elijah replied I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty the Israelites have rejected your covenant torn down your altars and put your prophets to death with the sword I am the only one left and now they are trying to kill me too the Lord said go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord for the Lord is about to pass by then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord but the Lord was not in the wind after the wind there was an earthquake but the Lord was not in the earthquake after the earthquake came a fire but the Lord was not in the fire and after the fire came a gentle whisper when Elijah heard it he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave then a voice said to him what are you doing here Elijah he replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to death with the sword. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. Isn't that interesting how Elijah repeated himself to God? Uh, the reason why I say that is because God continuously repeats himself to us too. When you're conversating with God, you just tell him whatever's in your heart. If you want to say it again, say it again. So continuing at verse 15, The Lord said to him, Go back the way you came and go to the desert of Damascus. When you get there, anoint Hazel, king over Aram. Also anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, king over Israel. And anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat, from Abel Meholah. To succeed you as prophet. Jehu will put to death any who escape the sword of Haziel. And Elisha will put to death any who escape the sword of Jehu. Yet I reserve 7,000 in Israel. All whose knees have not bowed down to Baal. And whose mouths have not kissed him. So this is a good picture of what's going on in the American church today folks. It's, it's a good picture of what's going on in the world's capital C churches. And now I get to what is going on in the, Sinalo the state of Sinaloa, Mexico. Mazatlan to be specific. That is north of where I believe about 5,000 people from Honduras are marching to north to the American-Mexican border. And they think they're going to make it. And this is just one more thing on the myriad of things that what we call the far left and the far right. Deep state, uh, patriotic state, you know what's going on. It's another thing on the list of things that are meant to destroy our constitutional republic of the United States and to try to do something else. Uh, somebody pointed out, do the communists have a guide? No, they don't have a guide. All they have is a goal and, and what their goal is is power. And once they reach power time and time again throughout all eternity communistic 
or totalitarian or monarchy or uh, anarchist uh, governments they they always fail the United States of America's government has lasted longer than any other government without collapsing and it's, it's based on capitalism and it's based on a republic of laws because our founders knew that we had to have a guide like a North Star it's called the law and you can't willy-nilly change laws just to suit your own pleasures uh, there's a mob mentality and there's a job mentality that's a buzzword jobs not mobs and stuff like that okay so pray for the United States our midterm elections people are waking up people are realizing on both sides how how they've been used and how they have followed like blind sheep ideas and people based on the things that they uh, are so-called leaders have said so let's pray for the United States elections in Jesus name I just pray that you'll have your will in the United States as you always do you always have your will your will be done Lord even Jesus said your will be done Lord on earth as it is in heaven so who are we to think that God can't have his own will God has his own will and we know from reading the Bible in the end we win us children of God we win um, so go ahead and reference 1 Kings chapter 19 verses 10 through 16 it, it, it there is a lot in it and I and it, it, it I would have to spend 45 minutes just discussing all of that but and now pray for Mexico because there is a hurricane Willa it's it's a category 5 uh, before it hit uh, land before it made landfall and it made landfall in and within the area of Mazatlan back in 2009 and 2011 two times I went to Mazatlan and, and I also went to Cabo San Lucas by myself just to bring a duffel bag full of Bibles complete Bibles Old and New Testament in the Spanish language I took 12 Bibles to Mazatlan I passed them out went back home on my merry way uh, I went to Cabo San Lucas and I and handed out 12 Bibles and, and some uh, uh, children's books by myself the first person I handed a Bible to was a customs officer in Cabo San Lucas he wanted to know what was in my bag when I got off of the boat it was a cruise ship and I, I gave him a Bible I showed him what it was I asked him would you like a Bible and he says sure and I says here here's one for you for your wife too I saw he had a ring on his finger and, and I said do you have any children and he says yes I do so I gave him a children's book so he he I gave him he didn't confiscate take or whatever and and, and the officer had tears in his eyes but he they didn't drip down but I could see that his eyes watered up it was a blessing he he was very happy and so I went and passed out the other just 12 Bibles I could fit in that in that duffel bag I don't know what kind of uh, uh, of things are going to arise from me handing out Bibles it's the least I could do at the time how crazy it, it was kind of stupid for Jesus to tell the Peter and the fishermen well you didn't catch any fish from this side of the boat well put it on the other side of the boat well they were polite to him he was no fishing expert but they just to, you know they're spending some quality time with the philosopher with a teacher and uh, Jesus and <laughs> so they did it that on the other side and they got so much that they couldn't handle it in their boat and other fishermen had to bring their boats out to to, to bring the catch and the point was that Jesus says you're going to be fishers of men and another point is you may think that something is ridiculous that the Lord tells you to do and Jesus went on further to say that I the things that I say and do the father has told me to say and do so you may be think that something is ridiculous but go ahead and do it I paid a, a cruise ship fare to go to by myself simply to bring Bibles not to have a gay old time not gay but a good old time on, on a ship I couldn't even relax I spent my whole time walking back and forth from stern to stem of the boat stem to stern uh, port side 
seaside, upstairs, downstairs, all over the ship. I was just fascinated by what makes a ship and how it could be out in the middle of nowhere and stay afloat. So I, I spent my time walking back and forth and then sitting down, eating the three meals a day that they give and snacking or whatever. But it it was really no benefit to me. Um, but it was a benefit to the Lord because of what I went there for, just to be a light. So there's, uh, uh, I call them silly memes. They're like political cartoons. It's the same exact thing that's been in newspapers from time immemorial, especially in the United States. Benjamin Franklin made the first printing press, and he made the first newspaper, and he made the first almanac. He was a printer. He was a writer. He was a scribe. What else was he? Uh, let's see. There was a scribe, and there's uh, a writer, I guess. I forget the word. Um, but anyways... Uh, Political cartoons. Now they're called memes because they're on the internet. One says, has a picture of, of uh, the 5,000 people walking through Mexico to try to get past the American border. Um, legally and illegally, of course. Um, so it, it's a fascinating picture of 5,000 people marching. And it says, they said... And then there's another picture of Hurricane Willa, W-I-L-L-A, out off the coast of Mexico. So they said, and then there's a picture of the hurricane, satellite photo, but God said. Well, we just read from you from 1 Kings chapter 19. God wasn't in the earthquake, the fire, the wind. Does that mean that God isn't in anything that happens? He allows things to happen. And we could get all theologically debating you could go back, fast forward from First Kings to uh, when Jesus was crucified on the cross. The sky became dark. People rose from the dead, and there was a great earthquake. Was 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 God in that earthquake? Was He in the sky being dark? Was, did He cause? Who knows? And really, it's just a fascinating thing that happened. So. Whether God is in something or not, the thing is, there's another verse, another scripture in, in Proverbs, in Psalms, I mean, in the book of Psalms, where it says, the wicked create devices and their own feet are caught in their own devices. And we're seeing this time and time and time and again. You know we're not supposed to wish death upon people. It doesn't do any good to pray death upon people or pray harm upon people. And you definitely don't wish harm upon people. But my prayer for the past several years, at least five years, has been God caused the wicked to be entrapped in their own snares. Folks, it's happening. It's happening. The wicked are being entrapped in their own snares. And folks, if you don't get off your butt and back on, back on your knees and start praying... And it's almost elections time. Every time it's do or die with elections. And, and we know. I, I don't even have to tell you how to vote. Um, you know in your heart. But the thing is, is go ahead and vote. Vote. Okay? So, folks, we got to get off our butts and on our knees. And back to work. Whatever it is. But you've got to pray for your nation. You've got to read the Bible daily. And you have to fellowship with the believers. The Bible says, forsake not the fellowship with the brethren and the sistren. So thank you guys for, for listening. This has been a real short one. And I have got to get to work. So God bless you and have a wonderful day. Now I'm going live and I don't know how to turn this thing off. This is the YouTube. And here's my Facebook one. End live video. Click. And now I'm going to, uh, let's see, share. And on thank you for listening to my Spreaker. Go ahead and check out all my stuff and, and uh, figure out how you can help me. It's all there. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day.